one, go! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Qualification match number 29. Both alliances able to score quickly here in the opening seconds of the match. Once again, this is the autonomous period. Final seconds now. 38 to 30, Blue Alliance on top at the end of the autonomous period. Driver control period now underway. Connecting from long range, 624, that's kryptonite. Two pieces of red cargo, 2614, responsible for that, that's Mars. The Mountaineer Aerial Robotics Team. More cargo coming in, this time from team number 180. That's Spam. They call their robot Soft Serve. Team Spam was a regional winner at Orlando earlier this season. Spam with their landing lights on. Guiding the way as they try to gather up more cargo. But look at this. Blue Alliance has a strong defender at 54-84. The Wolf Pack trying to thin the herd. Three more pieces of cargo placed by team number 340. GRR getting it done for the Red Alliance. 92 to 74, unofficially your score. About 45 seconds remaining in the match. 26-14, trying to pre-position for their end game strategy. From this defensive position, they're trying to keep the robots out of the field of play. 30 seconds left. And climbing for the Blue Alliance 54-84. That's the Wolfpack. Cerverus is the name of that robot. Frog Force sleeping into action, grabbing on to the mid-level rung, and now reaching up to the high rung. On the Red Alliance side of the field, inside the hangar, one robot has completed a traversal climb, a second one in the process, trying to get it done. And the Blue Alliance completes a triple hang, the first triple hang of the day. A triple traversal climb completed by 503, 5484, and 624 for the Blue Alliance. Incredible match play. And with that score, as brilliant as it was, it is the Red Alliance that will come out on top. Blue Alliance was brilliant with their in-game strategy, but it's the penalties that hurt them. A total of 16 blue penalty points were awarded to the Red Alliance, and that made the difference in this match. Coming up next, qualifying match.